It's about 7 a.m. It's breakfast time for Apple. She knows she gets fed in the crate. Feeding inside the crate is a very, very um, good technique, especially if you have more than one dog. Um, if you have more than one dog, it helps to keep them from competing over each other's food. Even if you only have one dog, it does help focus the dog on his eating. So that's a good thing. So Apple is accustomed to this and she's ready to go into that crate. Come here, Apple. I'm going to put a snood on her. A snood is a little cloth uh, thing that goes right over the head covers the ears and I tuck those ears in nicely that helps keep the ears from getting any food on them because if the ears get food on them then dogs are going to want to chew on the food which of course makes them chew on their ears apple the food is a quality kibble and I put a splash of hot water on it the water helps to aid in digestion. It also stimulates the appetite because it releases a scent. And uh, dogs do tend to focus on scent when they're eating. And so I'm going to put this in the crate. Close the door for her. Good girl. Time to eat. And when she's done, I'm going to let her out one more time because um, a lot of times eating stimulates the need to poop, especially in a puppy. So she'll have to go out. Um, one other thing is the, the bowl I use, you'll notice, is a ceramic bowl with uh, straight edges. Even if you don't use a snood to keep the ears out of the food, the ears will... Uh, naturally fall outside the edges of the bowl if you just feed them that way and although there still is a chance that they'll get some food on them it's a lot smaller chance than if you used a, a wide bowl or a bowl that has sloped edges. So we're gonna let her enjoy her breakfast and then I'll let her out again and that is Apple's breakfast for the day.